Okay, so I started getting an oil pressure light. And because this is an 07 3.6, I immediately assumed it was the oil pump bolt loosening because that's one of the signs. This car's got 180 or 185,000 on it. So it shouldn't be that bolt because that should have loosened a while ago. But it only shows low oil pressure over 2000 RPM. Now, this is where knowledge comes in. If you read up on the operation of the oil pressure uh, switch, it's a switch. It's not a sender, it's a switch. When the RPMs are over 2500, that's when the ECM checks to see if the switch is on or off. And if it's off, it gives you a low oil pressure warning. So it's very possible the switch is bad. Um, this is the one I got. I'm not sure if it's the right one. Of course, it's gonna be the one pole because it's either on or off. Now the problem is, is, is where this thing is located. It's above the oil filter. Um, so, let's see, so when you look at through here, it is, oh, I can't zoom in, it's right there, it's that right there, so coming through this angle, it doesn't look that hard. And here's your, your fill right there. But there, this might be the best angle to get to it. The problem is, is, is uh, once I take that out, I'm pretty sure oil's gonna start coming out. Blah, blah, blah. It's probably gonna start flowing pretty far. Um, and I just replaced the oil because I thought maybe that was the cause. So I really don't wanna let the oil out. So the problem is I have to get that out and then get the other one back in and spill the least amount of oil possible. Because <laughs> that's how I roll, you know. I'm going to have to put down the towels and everything. But I want to get zoomed into that to see the part number that's on that. I don't know if I can see that in this video or I have to do it in that picture. Because I know there's a part number on that. But there's that. So I'm going to do a picture, and I'm going to stop the video. Okay, so I'm trying to look at some of the places easier. The snap is at the top. So I have the orange thing sitting right on the switch. So I'm gonna look from above and see where I can see that orange handle. And take a look at this. The orange handle is right there. So I should be able to get to that switch from above. It's literally right there. That's good to know, huh? Alright, so I got the new one in. I I put the I put the it's five sixteenths. So I put I mean fifteen sixteenths. Fifteen sixteenths up on there. And from above I broke it loose. Maybe you could do it from down below. And then I it was very loose. So I hand I can't see what the hell this camera's doing. Zoomed in all the way. Where the hell is it? All right. Sorry, bro. Where the hell am I aimed? Yeah, right there. So I hand hand took it out, and no oil came out. And then I hand put it in. Make sure you got to put it at like an angle like this to get it to screw back in. 
So, let's get there. So there you go. Screwing it back in. And it was only tight. One crank got it to be finger loose. And it looks like on the old one, the washer is is uh, crushed. That washer looks crushed like on the one I have. It's just a normal one. Unless it doesn't have a washer. Oh, shit. I hope I didn't leave the washer up there. Okay. So I got it in there. I don't know what tightness. I just did it till it didn't really want to turn anymore. All over tightened. We'll just have to check to see if it leaks. And I got the plug on there. And note when you're this plug, you have to push the tab. Push this tab forward and then you can pull the plug off. So you the front tab here. You're gonna push it forward. The very front tab, and then you could pull this thing off. It'll undo the clip. So let's see. Hopefully this. Uh, hopefully that's all that was wrong. Stupid car. Can't stand this car anymore. Alright. I want to be able to get the pressure reading in here. So the switch doesn't work. turns on that stupid heart one uh, maybe I go to uh, the air compressor but either way like around 20 it turns on the other annoying thing about this switch is what does that say I believe that says PA6 GF30 because that's a part number you actually could find for like BMW so I don't think there's anything wrong with this I wish I had tested the one that I put in there <sighs> Fine. You gonna help?